All right, let's talk about this Steph documentary. Now, you have grown up with Steph Curry being in your life as a basketball fan for the majority of it. You, I think, you know, it's like LeBron, Carmelo, and then Steph is probably who you remember as like the players who, who were, you know, who, who you were rooting for growing up. Was there anything in the documentary that you learned that you did not know about Steph? Because they did have a lot of Davidson stuff in there. Uh, shout out Marcus Thompson, because I don't think there was any really anything new I learned that I hadn't already learned from his book. From his book, from yeah. Golden? Like, uh, I actually, that's a good question, because I didn't really think of that. Did I learn? Um, He seemed like a funny, fun guy in college. I kind of like, like a goofy, like, yeah, goofy, like a nerdy guy. I can't bit, imagine. Too. Like, Steph is still kind of like goofy. Well, he was days. just uh, singing with... Uh, with Paramore. Paramore. Like, yeah, I forget the lead singer's name. Haley. What's her, her, her name? She's I really know. good. I really yeah. like her voice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he was out there in his glasses, just singing his, his, uh, his brains out. But with, yeah, like... Uh, this Steph, like you get him in an interview and he'll give you like absolutely nothing. He's such a politician and how he speaks in interviews and like he's just not going to give you anything. But yeah, college Steph seems like he would have just told you all of his life story and, and back. I ruined the whole documentary for Crystal. Why? So. Oh, you told her how what happens to Davidson? Yeah, I was like, I forgot. I forgot how I said it, but I was I said something like, oh, like I was trying to remember when they actually lost in this tournament. And she's like. Oh, they lost. I was like, <laughs> yeah, they lost. They're not going to win the NCAA championship. Davids. And she's like, oh, that was thanks. like the whole. Movie. I was like, oh, I forgot. I just I just forgot. I didn't... That would have been so high on his list of, uh, you know, things that, that you know about Steph that I just figured she knew. But nope, she didn't know. So I spoiled the whole thing. Um, I didn't. I didn't really do any homework for the documentary in terms of like, I don't think I watched the trailer. I don't think I watched anything. So when I went into it, I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to get to see some like Monte behind the scenes. Yeah, we're yeah, going to yeah, see yeah. like all those first couple years with the AC law. And, yeah. And the championships. It's like, oh, no, Keith it's smart benching Steph. It's literally just Davidson and the 2022 ring, which is kind of nice. It's because like the 2022 ring, like even though I've watched like I watched all 82 for that year. Like I, I really did. I maybe watched 81 because the one game I miss is when we went to Santa Cruz and watched Kaminga and Moody. Yeah. Like I was locked in for that year. And I think it was nice because they were talking about some random Utah jazz game where Steph was coming off of just hitting the record and he's on this cold stretch. You're missing and, all these shots. And, and yeah, and I was like watching that. I was like, no, I watched that game. They won that game because they were making it look like they were going to lose it because Steph couldn't hit a shot. And then after, yeah. like, oh, yeah, they won that game. I was yeah. like, like a random Utah jazz game on like a like a Friday. I was able to remember. Um, but yeah, no, I, I totally thought we were getting it all. I thought that was going to be like the all in one Steph documentary. So I, I actually was a little disappointed, but it's my fault. You know, uh, I'll use a word that Steph overuses in his vocabulary. The narrative, the narrative of the documentary was that Steph was overlooked and underrated coming out of high school, going into college, coming out of college and into the NBA draft. And the last championship, the Warriors were overlooked and underrated. And so they connected those yeah. two moments or those two seasons um, and into, into one documentary. So the thing that I, like you, I wish they would have had more stuff in there. Did you listen to Steph on um, uh, no. Real Ones? No, I didn't. Okay, so, so Steph was actually telling Don Nelson stories because Raja... Is the Raja did Raja have any crossover with the? I don't remember if Raja, if Raja did Raja play for the Warriors for like a small amount of time. I don't remember. There might have been some crossover there. Anyways, so he uh, he was talking about Don Nelson and some. He was like giving Don Nelson stories. Like, oh wow, I've never heard Steph really talk too much about Nelly. And so I was kind of hoping we get a little bit more of that in the documentary. Obviously not, but I would say the only thing that I was disappointed in. And it's because in the very beginning of the documentary, there's a KD sighting. That was so cool. KD comes in the club to help them celebrate whatever they were. Was it the championship where they celebrated? No, the it was his uh, record. Oh yeah. The three point record. So Katie's there and he just comes through and, you know, and Steph's like, you know, that's the most misunderstood person in the NBA or whatever the quote was. And so I was like, Oh, that's a little bit of a tease. So we'll see a little bit of the Katie Steph stuff. Nothing. Mm -hmm. 
And I guess you can't tell that story of being underrated when you are the most uh, dominant team, of dominant all team of all time, and everyone expects you to win. So there, there was very little of KD in in that because that's the that is the story. Now, if you want to tell a story about the Warriors, and this is for I'm sure it's there is a at some point documentarian chomping at the bit. But I, I bet you it's the guys. It's going to be Steph and Dre and Clay, and they'll have their own production stuff. They're going to be the ones behind the story because they're going to want to tell it in a specific way. But the second the Warriors lose to the Cavs in 2016, then you go right to Draymond talking about how soon after he called KD about coming to play for the Warriors. And then you have that whole thing, and the end of that is... KD tearing the Achilles, Clay tearing up his knee, them losing that thing, then the pandemic, and you kind of, you know, the, all the bad stuff. And then you talk about where they are in their careers with the Warriors, they're winning championships. So that's kind of a nice, a nice uh, end to there. And hopefully for KD, you know, you have some some good stuff too, because hey, that post- documentary could be extended if we get a little Western Conference finals action. That'd be great. That that would be fantastic, uh, and you can you can do that. But that that's that's gonna be the one in five years or or whatever it is that that you can tell. So, um, but I would say the Steph documentary is very well done. It's very well shot. They Coogler, used, they you is that is that who was? Yeah, the Black Panther director Ryan Coogler, I think was uh was he producing it? or directing Steph's? Um, there there's a lot of footage from davidson time so wh- whoever took i mean some of it was game footage so they i'm sure they just had it but there's lots of like just hanging around campus footage too that's pretty cool uh, and then you know just of course they're gonna get the top nba footage for stuff but you know lots of steph driving i was like do we have to have another steph <laughs> in the car shot to tell this thing like there's we understand the transition <laughs> of he's going to do something like let's let's do like a walking one instead <laughs> but um yeah i i was entertained i think it's more for the i would say the casual yeah uh fan who doesn't know a ton about steph if you know a lot about him and you know his career you're going to enjoy it just because it's steph and you just remember a lot of those moments but you're also going to be like i want more like where's this and this and this but otherwise 